Eric? All right, Jillian, thanks so much. Arthel? Eric, thank you. Well, right now, we're going to go to Niall Gardiner for more on this. He is the director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation. So, Niall, President Trump told Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes airing tonight that in the apparent uh, murder of Jamal Khashoggi, if that was ordered by the Saudi leadership, that there will be severe punishment. Um, he's not rushing to retaliate. However, how forceful do you think the president should be in demanding answers? from Saudi King Salman. Well, I think the Trump administration has been very clear that it would like to see more information on exactly what has happened here. Uh, so far, I think there's been a great deal of uh, speculation, but we really need to see a full, transparent uh, investigation uh, carried out, uh, hopefully jointly by uh, Turkey and Saudi Arabia to establish the full facts here. Once the full facts have been established, then I think the, the White House will be in a position really to be able to respond effectively to what is going on. But at the moment, we don't have all the full facts uh, available. And of course, this is a, a bit of a dilemma for the, uh, for the United States. After all, Saudi Arabia is a very important U.S. ally on the world stage and a key ally, of course, in confronting the Iranian uh, threat at the moment. And so there is a very important big picture here uh, with regard to the long-term consequences uh, of this. And at the same time, any uh, murder of a, of a journalist, uh, not least a U.S.-based journalist, is an extremely serious matter. And I'm in no doubt, I think, that the uh, U.S. administration takes this instance ex extremely uh, seriously. Uh, and there will be some ramifications, but uh, it depends really upon establishing the full facts of what actually happened. And you just heard in Jillian Turner package uh, that uh, the president says regarding the U.S. arms sales to Saudi Arabia that he's not ready to take that deal off the table. Here is Arizona Senator Jeff Flake on that very topic. I do think that arms sales will be affected. Certainly our involvement in Yemen. Uh, with Saudi Arabia will be affected. Uh, that barely, that uh, involvement barely survived in the last go around uh, with the National Defense Authorization Act. It certainly won't survive uh, with, uh, with this kind of accusation if it is true. Niall, who has the leverage in this transaction? The U.S. or Saudi Arabia? Well, I think both sides here. Uh, I think the president has made it clear that he would like to see the, uh, the arms sales uh, go forward with Saudi Arabia, uh, not least because um, a lot of U.S. jobs are involved here, but also uh, President Trump does not want uh, Russia uh, to step into the frame in replacement of the United States here. So I think there are you know, important factors considered in terms of the, of so, the big picture. Excuse me, but so if, in fact, it's proven that the Saudis had... They were. They had something to do. They they ordered the murder of Mr. Khashoggi, and then what should the president do in terms of arms sales? Because I understand the conundrum that if, as the president points out, if the U.S. doesn't sell it to them, then so would Russia, or then would China. Uh, he doesn't want that the money or the jobs going there. However, the U.S. is not a country that deals with people with blood on their hands. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the administration's position uh, so far has been that they do not wish to see this arms, uh, you know, a deal ended with Saudi Arabia. Uh, Congress, on the other hand, as you pointed out with uh, Senator Flake, Marco Rubio and so on, have expressed uh, a far tougher line on this matter. It remains to be seen how the administration will work this matter out with, uh, you know, with Congress. But I think it's important to bear in mind, at the moment, we do not know the full facts of the of the situation. Uh, the Turkish government has a very strained relationship with Saudi Arabia. The Turks have made uh, quite wide-ranging accusations against Saudi Arabia. It remains for those accusations to be fully uh, proven. It's also a fact, of course, that the Turkish government itself but who detains needs to hundreds, make the, of, hundreds of journalists. 